All right, guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is Stella, and today I'm going to be reacting to all of the Jujutsu Kaisen openings and endings. So there are two openings for the show, and obviously two endings as well. And as per usual, I know nothing about it. I've not really heard of this one. I think I've seen some merch for this in like anime stores, but I don't really know what it's about. Um, I believe it's kind of a darker anime, but I could be completely mistaken about that. Um, I'm doing this reaction on my own because James has sadly already seen this anime and so would not really be able to theorize with me. So uh, it's just going to be me today. You know the drill. I'm going to make some theories, probably get a ton of stuff wrong, get really confused about who's who and how many characters there are and all that jazz. So uh, uh, thank you so much for watching. As always, if you've got other animes or anime opening uh, recommendations that you guys think we should react to, please drop them down in the comments. We would love to see them. And I think I just want to get into opening. Opening one of Jujutsu Kaisen. Ooh. What is happening? Oh, we're on a bus with fish? Oh, this is nothing like what I expected. We're just like traveling on the subway, huh? Where are we? She's cute. I like her hair. Pandos! <laughs> Love pandas. Oh, it's okay, there are monsters. I was waiting for something to pop up. Daredevil? No, wait, I know this guy. The guy with the blindfold is a really famous character. I know him, or at least I know of him. He had a face on his face, a mouth on his face. Uh, like a second one, like more than the normal amount of mouths. Ooh. Oh, this is so cool visually. I really like the color scheme. Who is this panda? Panda's doing parkour. That's so lit. Oh, I, I really like this. Dude. Okay, so this is... Oh, I, I know this guy. Um, so our main character is a spiky-haired boy. What? Dude, I am so lost. Okay, spiky-haired boy is our main character. And... Uh, demons? For sure, right? And I think the man with tattoos on his face is, I think, a character people simp for a little bit. And I'm pretty sure he is like a demon. So I do think there's demons in this world. And But our, main, our central character looks like just a regular guy. And he was at like an old man in the hospital. So maybe it's his dad. Our girl with the, the, the like blonde bob seemed really smart so i wonder if she she knows stuff. she had like the glasses you put on the glasses and you're able to see the monsters which is a cool effect i don't know man yeah i'm struggling that went that went very fast i'm gonna see if maybe the ending is gonna help so this is oh oh okay this is not what i expected at all stevie wonder oh no wait this is so good this is like unfairly good. He got moves. Whoa. I love this art style too, with like the coloring outside the lines. Who's this kid? This kid was here before. Wolf boy. Everybody loves a wolf boy. Oh, I'm going to listen to this for sure. This feels very out of, it feels like a very different tone than the tone of the show, or at least I thought so. I guess I was wrong. We have some sick moves, man. So just kind of going through our cast of characters, I guess. Panda boy is here. Glasses guy. Oh yeah. Strike a pose. Okay. I don't know how much I have to say about that. Uh, Cause I was, I, I'll just comment on like the art style. I love the art style and the song was so catchy. Oh my gosh. Featuring Aklo, A-K-L-O is the artist. Fantastic job, whoever you are. That was great. Um, yeah, I don't think it added much to the story. Doesn't tell me anything really, but I really enjoyed that. Tonally, it's pretty diverse. And that's always fun is when a show is willing to step outside of uh, its own comfort zone, but also, 
our comfort zone as a viewer and kind of play with a uh, play with some things that you don't expect. So I have high expectations for opening two. Jujutsu Kaisen opening two. Kitty. Demon Kitty. <laughs> Slow motion walking. Ooh. Bubbles. Panda has gotten an upgrade since the last time we saw him. Oh, we're so cool. These character designs are really cool. I guess we've kind of been recruited into whatever society we saw last opening. It seems very classy. Like, it's almost like secret agent-y rather than, you know, demon-y. That's a demon for sure. I don't believe there's no... Demon deuce, demon ectoplasm, perhaps? Is that an elephant on a rooftop? That does not seem like a wise architectural idea. Oh man, we're just slugging it out. Okay. Oh, he's cool. I like him. This is a, a wonderful animation style. It's so like vibrant. Oh my gosh, whoa, hold on, epilepsy warning, ugh. Okay, so that was Jujutsu Kaisen opening two. All right, so I don't think I have any fun theories, like funny theories, because it's, for me, I have like a general idea. So I feel like it's a pretty classic anime story trope and just general story trope. Unassuming protagonist, like a teenage boy, uh, is kind of swept up in secret society or demon hunting club or or army or blah, 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 and is kind of recruited. And I think that's what our, our main guy with the really cool hair is finding himself in or has found himself in it. But he seems like he has joined them completely by now. So we've got Panda Boy. We have this really cool blue haired guy with the water abilities. I couldn't tell. He seems like he might be his own character, like outside of the group. But yeah, I guess... I don't really know. There's definitely demons, but they seem very human. Like they seem like they kind of live among us. I don't really know if I'm making that up. I really, I like the art style. I love the character designs. It looks a little dark. Like I could definitely see it, there being some gorier elements, which you know I'm a fan of. Um, <laughs> don't judge me, I, I, I love gore. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm having a good time. I definitely, curious about the story. I might have to look it up once we're done. I think let's get into the other ending, see if it's uh, see if it's like that that weird stylistic ending for the first one. Why is this like filmed in portrait mode? <laughs> Somebody filmed this on an iPhone? Aww. Oh no, do we have like dead friends or dead parents? This looks like a cemetery maybe. The name of this ending is Give It Back. Give what back? The Dead Friends? Oh yeah, this feels really foreboding. Oh no. This is this is exactly like in the movies when they do like the slideshow of like the dead wife, like a montage. Oh no. Aw. Bro, we're having so much fun on the beach. Okay, we're this is totally so different. Stop filming our private conversation. Aw. No, okay, hold on. I sure hope everyone isn't dead. That would be a big ol' spoiler. It's beautiful, though. And it, it really does feel like we're all just, like, you know, cutesy, cutesy, cutesy friends. Dude, what is this show? That was so different than the other stuff. That What is happening? This is gonna be a pretty, it's a pretty short reaction. Not a whole lot of it, openings and endings. That might actually have been the fewest openings I've ever seen. Um, two, yeah. But it's got some darker elements, but it seems to enjoy taking time with the characters. And you know I'm a sucker for that. Give me a relationships. Give me a... T teach me how your characters' brains work, right? Like, tell me about your characters. Let me get to know them. Let me get to know their dynamic and stuff like that. I, I eat it up. I love seeing friends just like have fun on the beach. It reminds me of my friends. 
Um, but it is weird that in the openings, they seem so different. Like in this, they're, you know, like a bunch of teenagers. In the openings, it seemed a lot more professional and like everyone's wearing like suits and stuff. So I'm kind of struggling to piece it together tonally, but I'm going to stick with my gut and say our teen boy gets, you know, welcomed into this society, into this world, uses those abilities to defeat bad guys. Now, as, as I'm saying this, I'm like, that's the most boring theory ever, but no, I feel, I, that feels okay. Like that, I don't feel like I can, I can feasibly say anymore with what I've been given. So as far as my thoughts on it, like my opinions, I really liked it. I loved how it looked. It looks like fun. Character designs were great. It looks like it could go to some dark places, which I'm always here for. But we also have the emotional beats of, you know, characters and their relationships. So yeah, I'm super into it. Um, like I mentioned before, James has already seen it. But if you'd be interested in seeing me do a reaction to it, please let us know down in the comments. Um, and yeah, that's going to be it for me today. As always, thank you so much for watching and tuning in. Um, and if you're new, hopefully you enjoyed yourself and hopefully you stick around. And if you do, I will see you in the next reaction.